Good afternoon, this is Bob Iacchino coming to you from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago talking metals. Let's go to the base metals and talk copper. Copper up over 1% today, recovering from the worst one day down move since February of this year. Copper now near completing its fifth down week. It's unlikely that we get an up week considering where we are right now. We'd have to get a 3% move on tomorrow, Friday, which is extremely unlikely at this point considering the bearish nature of the recent moves. U.S.-China talks were hinted at. A Bloomberg story hinted that the U.S. and China want to talk trade. Both uh, made statements in, at different times, different places, about how the trade tension should not continue. This was post the threat of the extra $200 billion. Initially, China just said they would retaliate and that things were pretty far gone. But now there were some higher up officials in China that said when you have an issue, it should be discussed. And the markets took that as meaning that there would be a conversation rather than an escalation. So all the commodities really rose, save for crude oil. All the base metals and precious metals rose a little bit. Dollar fell a little bit. Yields didn't really move and the equity markets had a huge recovery off of that story. But are we in a bear market now in copper? Well, copper has fallen 19 of the last 25 sessions and has fallen 17% from the June 4th high. It's only June 12th. So since that June 4th high, we've had a 17% decline and that essentially is three points away from being in a bear market. So it's a pretty weak situation. This is a geo geoeconomic situation as the trade wars kind of sink their teeth into the economic uh, scene. We had an already weakening China, so it seems like copper could be on its way to a bear market. And if copper's in a bear market, it's likely the economy will soon follow. This is Bob Aicino talking about base metals, copper specifically, from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago.